What is cyberbullying? Uh, threats they can receive through the internet, either by email, comments. Look! I just got like five of these last night on IM and three more today on myself. Cyberbullying is when anybody tries to contact you in a mean way. I know, but I hate being called names. It's just basically like trash talk, like uh, through technology. Why do people cyberbully? I think people cyberbully because they want to feel better about themselves. And it's like, probably just still got a life. Just like to bother people or just like to get attention from it. Whoa, who's sending you those? It's your ex-girlfriend, Ken. She thinks you and I are going out. They don't have the courage to stand to your face and say it, so they have to hide behind some type of screen. Have you ever been cyberbullied? Yeah, I was cyberbullied before. On her MySpace page, she hit her boyfriend sent me a message saying that if you don't stop giving my girl's number, I'll kill you and all this stuff. I do have one friend that she received a really mean text message on her phone. Um, Listen, she should not be saying those things to you. People wrote rude things on my wall. I had to unfriend a lot of those people. What would you do if you were cyberbullied? Just ignore it and hopefully it would stop. Just don't respond to her. I would keep the emails or whatever they're sending me. Save the text messages. I would end my profile and I'd immediately get off the site. Um, if it continued, I'd probably let someone know. And if she doesn't stop, you're going to have to tell your parents or something. It was really to an extreme point, you know, contact the authorities. Why is cyberbullying a bad idea? It's not, not a nice thing, obviously. Uh... This is why she's my ex-girlfriend, because she does stuff like this. They shouldn't be picking on other people and hurting other people's feelings. And if it goes too far, far um, it could actually um, get people in trouble. That it's like immature and inappropriate and just they shouldn't be doing it. Why do you have a profile? On my profile, I like to chat with people. Look at my friends' profiles and talk to them. Change pictures. And stay in touch with friends who have moved away. How do you decide who to add to your friends list? Um, before I add someone to my friends list, I make sure that I know them. Because I only add people I know in person. Because if I don't know them, if I don't see their picture and I don't know them, I just don't add them. There could have been some sketchy creep on there. Being on the internet, you're not guaranteed to know who the person is behind the name. Does it help to set your profile to private? Setting my profile to private um, protects me in a way. It kind of lessens um, the impact of harassment. Well, my page is private. I don't want people that I don't know or somebody unwanted in my profile. You think your page is private but then just forget about your friends list? Most people may think like keeps it from predators but if, even if someone that you don't know is on your friends list, they can see it. How can posting personal information and pictures affect your future? When you apply to colleges, they look at your MySpace or what people have said. They could judge you because of your photos. I should watch what I post no matter what. People that interview you, they're starting to look on MySpace profiles. They see that you have like this picture and they're like, oh, I don't want this kind of person working for me. Yeah, that might have been a mistake. Um, someone could use that information against you and perhaps um, become a predator and try and find you, harm you, or threaten you. Do your parents or guardians know what you are doing online? Yes, my mother knows. She has my page. She has my password and everything. Sometimes she'll like come in when I'm on the internet and she'll like look behind my shoulder. And Our computer is in the living room, so they do have clear access to what I'm doing. You should, you should always trust your parents. How do you decide what information and images to post online? I just wouldn't put up anything that I would be, I would regret putting up in the first place. There's a lot of stuff I do not want my family saying. Maybe my friends can see it, but not my family, so I just don't put it on there at all. Coaches look, then I want them to have a good impression of what I do. I don't want to be turned down because I have something stupid on my page. I'm pretty careful about what I write to begin with, and I wouldn't write personal information. Have you or someone you know ever posted something you regret? I take back pictures when I take a picture with my tattoo and everything because it's really bad, they like the attention. One of my friends put up a picture and she regrets it. Remember that photo from Halloween we had to dress up as a ballerina because he lost that bet? <laughs> there was an argument um, 
on a Facebook thread. My friend has posted a picture of her and a, a guy together when she had another boyfriend. What information and images are not okay to post? Pictures of fights. Smoking. My address, my phone number. Guns. My name, age. New pictures. Oh, I'm not even going to comment on that one. Insulting videos. Things you can get in trouble for. It looks like I got some changes to make. Why do people post inappropriate messages and pictures? I think they like the attention. Can I cause more drama by doing this? Can I get on the news? like to show off. Honestly, I think at the time when they post it, they don't really feel that it's inappropriate. How can things you post online affect your future? Teachers can see it, you get in trouble in school. I've heard stories about kids getting rejected from colleges. Recruiters and coaches look for all that stuff now, you know. You might lose friends because friends might be offended. And he applies for a job and the person's about to give it to them. You never know, they might want to check your Facebook, MySpace, anything, your email. And if you have something inappropriate, just for that, they can just cancel it all. The Internet, then, can be a great place to learn, communicate with friends and acquaintances, and buy your favorite music or videos or an unlimited array of other items. You undoubtedly already know that. Regrettably, however, the Internet is also a place where undesirable and sometimes dangerous people may hang out. But if you follow a few safety rules, you can save yourself a lot of grief and, perhaps, even your life. If you want a social network page, place it on a site that allows you to control who can see it. Never tell an online acquaintance your last name, address, phone number, usernames, or passwords. Post only information that you feel comfortable with others seeing. Remember that it's generally not a good idea to meet an online acquaintance in person. But if you do, make sure there are lots of people around during the day and in a public place. And bring along a friend or parent. Be sure your chat room and IM screen names don't give away your identity. Remember that it's best to merely ignore cyberbullies. But if a cyberbully posts a serious threat, tell an adult about it. In short, you can have fun, shop, and learn a lot on the Internet if you just exercise a little common sense caution.